Hey guys, it's Sammy, and today I'm back to talk about da -da -da -dun, air tutors. I mean, vizier tutoring, which has to do with your airs. Woohoo! This is a long overdue video. I completely forgot that I had recorded the screen version, and I just never recorded myself talking over it. So, we're doing that today. So welcome to the home screen of Game of Sultans, and I'm going to start off by going to the harem. No, I'm not. I'm going to start off by looking at the viziers, which to be honest, I could be butchering it every single time I say it, but I don't know. So the reason that I'm showing you this is because if you look at my top uh, 3, 6, 9, 12, 12 guys here, you can see that out of 12, 11 of them, I have all chosen military as a specialty and that's just my personal preference you know everybody's got a different tactic for the game but that's my personal tactic but let me first show you my children so remember when you first get your heirs and you're growing them and you have to feed them every day and it's a lot of work and it takes you forever well if you'll notice each of them has a specialty rating some of them have specialties for prestige research military or, as I like to say, handshake pancake, han bleh, handshake pancake, which is just political. I might have already said that. My bad. So, anyways, now that you have taken the time to absorb that information, we're going back to the viziers. And when you go into your vizier and you click the tutor button, it's going to pull up this screen. As you can see on this guy, I've already got one air applied to him who is currently giving him a boost. And if you click air develop, you will get a full list of all of the other airs that are available that you can apply to be taught by your vizier. Because your vizier is a wise man, he's got much talent to pass. So every single tutor, I mean, sorry, every single heir has a different specialty. So I'm pretty sure that what we're seeing here is just basically where they start at with the specialty, but they can be developed in every single area just like your vizier can. So let's just go into this guy right here because we're starting with the military rating on him. And as I've said before, I am power hungry and I want military power. So when you click on the heir that you would like to develop, you will see that there are three different scroll options. The game loves to do this to you, so each scroll is going to have a different rating that it will gain on your air. Ah, gosh, I can't talk today. On your air when you apply them. So from left to right, on the right hand side being the best scroll, on the left hand side being the worst scroll. But let's talk about how do we even get these scrolls. So let's go to the Imperial Council because it's got another use other than just collecting those goodies that provide charm and different gifts every day. I always go to the last guy because he's usually the best and you'll see a little circle with some gold on it. At least that's what it looks like to me. And when you click it, you will see that you have the opportunity to dispatch an heir to go visit that particular country where they can then come across some talent tomes. That's what they're called, sorry. I was calling them scrone. Uh, scrolls. The proper term is talent tomes. As you can see, all of your heirs will be here for you to choose. To be honest, it doesn't matter really which one you choose as long as you send somebody. There is a dispatch all button that you can press here, and when you hit dispatch all, you will have the option to go ahead and dispatch a ton at one time. So obviously this is going to be dependent on how much gold you have. I have enough gold to dispatch 45 heirs, so what the heck, let's just do it. 184.022 bill, that's nothing. Let's just go ahead and send them out. They will make me proud. Alright, so now that they're dispatched, you'll see that in one hour, they will come back to you bearing some talent tones. From here forth, I will not call them scrolls anymore because I have now educated myself. But yeah, if you click in, you will see all the airs that have been dispatched and then all the other ones that didn't get used. Sorry guys, I'll send you out next time. Don't worry, you'll have your day. So now that we've dispatched our heirs to go collect talent tomes, we're going to go back to our viziers and I'm going to go back to Cinnadim or Cinnamon, whatever you want to call him. And then we're going to hit Tutor. And then once again, we're going to go into air develop. And now I'm going to show you how we apply these talent tomes that we have received graciously from our children who traveled across the world. 
So if you go down here, you'll see, once again, as I pointed out, the three different scroll, or I'm sorry, I said I wasn't going to call them that anymore, talent tomes down here from left to right, with the right being the best and left being the worst, kind of like cuisine. So pretty much there's really no rhyme, as far as I'm aware, as to what pops up here for you to develop for the air. But right now, the main one that's applied, we haven't obviously developed yet. So as soon as we develop any of these, it's going to tell us that it's better than what's currently applied. And then you can hit that little circle button and you can hit that to take over so that that will be the one that applies and raises and gives your vizier a boost. So I hit a scroll. It boosted up the star level of the military rating put it to rating 13, and like I said, the one that was first there is at rating 0, so it's asking me if I would like to switch it and apply that one, which I went ahead and did that. So as you can see, now it says military rating 13 over 40. Now I just hit the advanced talent tome, applied that one, and it just boosted a politic to specialty rating 35, which again is better than the one that's currently there. So it's asking me if I'd like to switch it. So once again, you can go ahead and switch it and then that would apply the political. But just know that when you apply that air to your vizier, whatever one you currently have stuck there at the top is the one that is going to be boosting your vizier. So like I said, there's really no rhyme or reason to it. Every time you hit develop, it just switches to a different aspect of that air and you can kind of just keep hitting that messing around with it until you get the specific one that you want at a higher level and then once you are satisfied you can go to air tutor and then you can apply that air to your vizier so it can go ahead and start giving him that boost but like i said as you can see a lot of my airs the majority that have the higher ratings are unfortunately not military but i always just choose to focus on my military guys so once again as you can see down here we'll just go through continue applying scrolls teaching those kids some lessons and as i get better and better military ratings those are the ones that i just personally choose to apply to my vizier so once again, every time when you hit develop, it's going to tell you, hey, this one is better than the other one. Do you want to apply it or do you want to ignore? Unless it's military, for the most part, I just ignore it, keep developing until I get the skill that I want. But I would think that probably a better tactic would be to, like, let's say I have a vizier and he's a military and a political and those are his two strongest suits i'm probably going to apply an air with a high military rating so that i can apply a military boost and then i'll probably also do a political boost air and then apply that one as well so that way i'm giving him a boost for both military and political and vice versa if you have other viziers let's say that you prefer to grow maybe prestige or research, you can also go into that vizier and then you can go and develop the research and prestige and apply those airs to that vizier to give them the boost that you want. At this point, I'm just kind of clicking through using up all of my talent tomes so that I can apply them to the chosen vizier. Also, I'm not sure if I mentioned this at the beginning of the video, but in order for you to unlock the tutor option for your vizier, they must be at level 250 or above. Once you get your first vizier to level 250, it's going to tell you that the air tutor option has been unlocked, and then you can go ahead and dabble in that area and start growing your viziers even better so that you can dominate the world. Well, that pretty much ends the video. I hope that was helpful to you. I hope that taught you all about tutoring your children. And go ahead and game on.